Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hot Takes and Beer Breaks, the podcast where we have some hot takes, but more beer breaks. Also, the number one podcast in the world. I'm stating that now. Not Damn by numbers or anything, but like by spirit and friendship. Well, Donald Trump came out today, said he's number one on Facebook. Nobody really knows what that means, so I'm just going to say we're number one podcast. Well, that's fair. Number right, one. Okay. I'm joined, as always, by Justin and Jason. How are you guys doing today? Oh, good. I'm eating a chocolate bunny. <laughs> Okay, right well, happy months. Easter then. Yeah, yeah, it's little baby ones. You can find us on Twitter, it. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, all at Hot Takes and Beer Breaks, and you can email in at hottakesandbeerbreaks at gmail.com. Yeah, so want to jump right into the news today. How was your guys' yeah, Easter? But, but, yeah, oh, thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad we're going to talk about this. What do you guys yeah. take? Do you guys like solid chocolate bunnies or hollow chocolate bunnies? Hollow. Solid. Oh, now why do you say solid, huh. Justin? I'm intrigued. Because it's just a giant bar of chocolate. But That's I don't know why. For, for some reason, I am more a fan of the white chocolate bunnies. I don't like white chocolate really ever unless it's like cookie and cream. But mm. white chocolate yeah. bunnies. Those are so they good. Just, Have you ever cooked cookie and cream bunny? Yeah. Those shits are so good. Or Reese's yeah, bunnies. So Have you ever seen that one? Ooh, yeah. Just they're really a giant, good. like Reese's. Reese's hop, I'll call it. <laughs> Get it? Mm. Bunnies. Man, I wonder Very why clever. obesity is a problem in this country capitalism well Who would have known? there is one problem in this country and that is that the xfl is officially done it's done after one season it's not coming back it's oh, gone no. I, I hope it comes back it was so much fun maybe to watch. i don't know i mean we Maybe were all hoping to plan happen. a trip yeah we were gonna go do you think it would have survived i think so yeah it had it had okay. a big good size following yeah, that's like interesting and like, like it was on major networks it was quite. I mean, it's interesting it. though, because this coronavirus is affecting a lot of businesses, including the yeah, XFL. So stupid. I mean, it's going to be interesting if movie theaters come back, other businesses come back. You know, what is life going to be like after the coronavirus? How many businesses survive? Anything to add, Justin? No. Um, you just mean business? Are, to... are you giving like a you want a grand sweeping question about will businesses? Well, survive? I threw. I threw in movie theaters, and I know that's your uh, general, you know, general knowledge there. General knowledge. Um, movie theaters, they're gonna come back. Yeah, they definitely will. Cause people are, cause the only thing that was gonna really kill movies was streaming, and people don't want. After this is all over, nobody's gonna want to stream anymore, for for a little bit of time. So movie theaters are gonna have a huge boom. Yeah. What about drive-in theaters, though? I'm surprised they haven't come back yet. Yeah, like I mean, there still like, are a couple the, around. Like in our, that's a pretty good way to social distance. Yeah, you could yeah. literally set it up in the mall area here. Yeah, mm, agreed. Because any mall area, so you just fun. project it on a side of it and have cars, and then you have a specific radio wave to turn to. If yeah. well. I just want to say that. congratulations, guys. Besides being the number one podcast on the planet, you know, because we're saying that now, we also have gone one month in this country, the United States of America, without school shootings since 2002. That is disgusting. Yeah. One month? One month. One month of no school shootings. Do homeschool I mean, I, shootings I guess it, count? I, you know, you have to double check the stats on that, Justin, but that may sway the stats. But... I believe they're determining, you know, actual schools. It helps yeah, when there's no one in the schools. All schools are actual schools, John. Yeah, yeah I guess so. They were just like everybody else. Building. full two seconds ago. How big of bites are you taking? It's a very small bunny. Relax. Oh, it's really close to the camera, so it looks massive. Oh, that's not the only thing. Um, nice. Yeah, it's only an ounce and a half. Okay. So, it, so yeah, I just suck them down real quick. This is the let's, last one, let's get into Here's your guys' favorite subject of all time. This is going to be going on for a little bit. So Bernie endorses Joe Biden. He has officially come out and endorsed Joe Biden before Elizabeth Warren, I may add, who dropped out of the race much earlier. So Joe, Joe Biden really has the full her. support. Oh, wait. I'm sorry? Wait, so Warren hasn't endorsed Biden yet? Nope. But everyone else has endorsed Biden, including Bernie Sanders. Who just endorsed him this week? Hmm. Any? Yeah. You does say Biden know about that? Cool. Wait, wait. What? Does, does Biden know? I don't know if he knows anything anymore. 
<laughs> well, he might not know anything, but what he does know is that he's getting accused of sexual assault this week. Again, well, actually, these are old allegations, but they surfaced this week. So uh, a campaign's or not a camp, sorry, a staffer when he was a senator in the early 1990s uh, has accused him of sexual assault. I believe she accused him back in 2007 or 2017, maybe. A Democratic a politician in the 90s accused of sexual assault? Unlikely. No way. <laughs> Blasphemy. Yes, he's, so he's being accused, and strangely, it's not really being talked about very much. You know, you'll remember with the Brett Kavanaugh situation. Uh, Democrats were like Democrats beer. were quick to. I'm sorry. What? You like uh, beer? I, said I like beer. Do you like beer? He's, um, he's but yeah, he, lives Democrats now. Democrats Democrats were quick to um, accuse Kavanaugh of wrongdoing and say that he should accuse himself of the position of Supreme Court. Whether that's right or wrong, you know, I'll leave that up to the viewers to decide. And now Joe Biden is being accused of sexual assault, and you're not really hearing much. Uh, criticism from Democrats, which no, 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 I find but you interesting. don't understand it. It, it's their guy. Hmm. Yeah. So it's okay now, yeah, right? It's okay. Point. No matter what happened, they just got to beat the orange. Guy. It's just, it's just, <laughs> just accusations. No, people are hypocrites. Oh, um, shocking! Hot take. I'll say what I kind of said during the whole I, I kind of stay consistent on this whole thing you know regardless of what your political views are I want to hear from everyone not only the victims but the people accused of everything and I kind of want to get a sense from their testimony and maybe and kind of get my own generalizations on what should be happening but um yeah if this this comes out to be true you know this could shape up the political election and this this could be a huge thing Trump could use in his favor to attack Joe Biden you know if you remember last time uh, when Hillary Clinton was running, he brought all the sexual assault uh, accusations of Bill Clinton out and had him in the debate stage. So could just do the same thing here. Which is funny because he just has a just a load of assaults. Uh, attempt, or yeah, he has the same uh, same assaults, but but his people. I don't mean, care his about it. Yeah, his supporters don't really seem to mind that. So. Uh, it'll be interesting if this sexual assault case ends up I, – I doubt any people who weren't going to vote for Trump and were going to vote for Joe Biden are going to vote for Trump now because of this, but they might just stay home. You know, They might not be as excited. Anything? True. Yeah? Yeah. Who knows? Were you swinging one way or another in this well, I'm hanging this left accusation? right now, but things could change. Oh, well, politically. Oh, you mean politically. Oh. You were talking about my – Wiener. <laughs> you have a wiener dog too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We dogs. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of Donald Trump, uh, Donald Trump this week what is. What does my wiener have to do with Donald with... Trump? Wait, I'm sorry, what? What does my wiener have to do with Donald Trump? Yeah, that was a very strange segue, John. Yeah. No, yeah, but we were talking about Donald Trump before, and, you know, when uh, doesn't your I wiener to have away. to do. I'm confused on Speaking how your wiener doesn't have anything to do. Uh, so oh, Trump look. is withholding funding for the World Health Organization, or as Jason likes to call it. Who? The who? <laughs> so, yeah, he's he's withholding funding. He's trying to shift blame for, you know, who. however you who? believe this uh, crisis is going down. The general consensus is that Trump is doing a really, really bad job, seeing as how other countries Who are said kind that? of. I'm sorry, what? Who said that? I'm saying that. You know, Trump said he's number one, and I'm saying he's doing a bad job. Well. Wow. Wow. Well, he's not. He hasn't handled the situation the best, and um, whether it's a fair or not fair criticism, yeah, but who said it's, that? it's just the reality. I'm sorry, what? Who said that? I hate you guys. <laughs> I'm going to start this podcast up with someone else. Okay, bye. Good luck. Um, and now he's kind of trying to shift the blame to the who. He's trying to say that they falsely – they gave him bad uh, evidence, I guess, or they, they gave him bad advice and it's their fault. And so he's just trying to shift blame over. Of course. And it's always the, everybody else's fault. Did you guys see the confrontation he had with a reporter in the newsroom? Did he hit him? Is that where no, he on, had a. Uh, disgr you're disgraceful or something. Or, I don't know. Yeah, see, he, you're right, Justin. <laughs> he was having a he he's having these meetings all the time, 
and this is where he came in and said he's ha he has like the best ratings or whatever and yes. uh he was talking to one and one of the reporters was like hey why didn't you do anything in february kind of giving him a list of reasons and he said we did we the world health organization and all these other people back in january weren't saying anything and she's like yeah but that's january what about in february where you didn't do anything and he kind of got mad at her and yelled at her and told her she was fake news and that her ratings are dropping and his ratings number one so yeah so, that happened this week right. yeah we're doing a great job as a country oh yep. definitely yeah. well yeah. now that uh time to shift to another possible crisis that's going to be happening did you did you guys watch the video i posted i'm sorry velociraptors only one could save us no 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 uh we're gonna shift about, into gonna possible aliens on april aliens on april who's who's april aliens in april so oh, if you guys april. want to pull up the video so, uh, i'll describe it for the viewers in april it's just literally a minute long the video. video i watched it did you watch it yes i did it was a minute long i didn't watch all of it because it was okay so what thing. what it is it's uh it's the a picture, picture of the that it's a video camera of the moon and you kind of zoom in and whether or not it's real or fake you know, i'm not really sure i'm not an expert but what you see is you see like little bless you justin you see little like what are being described as saucers. spacecraft i guess little there, there are flying saucers coming off of the moon yeah they come off the moon and they kind of travel around and then you see them enter into the dark side of the moon so that Trench link will be po – Jason, you're going to have to post this link down below so our viewers can watch it. Yes, because our viewers are definitely going to want to watch this. They Just might want to watch up. it. It might be interesting. Open your eyes, Wait, what? people. You'll see the truth. <laughs> There's aliens on the moon, Jason. Oh. This is your favorite oh, yeah, topic. No, I'm, topic. I'm not doubting that. There's 100% aliens on the moon. Do you There's believe the video? There's Transformers on the moon, too. There are Transformers on the moon. Too. Wait, on are the, the aliens coming the moon, here? Of course. Yeah, they were going into the dark side. Yeah. Wait, that's so they're really in the moon. You... So, but they're not on Earth. Yeah, they're in the moon. No, they're on the moon, but that's oh, good. the next step is the Earth. No, Who cares about in, the moon? They don't have passports. They're illegal. <laughs> <laughs> they're not allowed. They're not allowed. I don't know. It, I, I just saw this. Uh, the video get posted this week, and it was kind of interesting. It was because um, we had the brightest moon last week, I it guess. Super so people moon. were able to kind of take their video cameras and point them up. So I don't know if it's fake. I don't know if it's like something someone was having fun, but it's a it's a fun video. And whether or not it's real, I guess we can kind of just I debate whether or not aliens question. are going to show up in April. Wait, what? I have a dumb question that would make no sense, like prior to a year and a half ago. All right, go. Has the okay. space force released any information on this? <laughs> <sighs> Um, I have no I, information I from the so. Space Force, yes. Maybe uh, Trump is right. Maybe he's ahead of his time. You know, he's getting that Space Force ready because he saw the aliens on the moon. Hey, like, I'm the first space one to sign up. No, like, it's, you already, really? it's already a yeah. thing now. Why do you want to fight in the Space Force? I just want to go to fucking space. You know you can do that without fighting in the Space Force, right? Yeah, but how much cooler would it be to fight in the Space Force? You could have just been an astronaut. That's pretty cool, too. It is. It's also on the bucket astronaut. list. I'm getting there. It's a very slow process. It's a very Justin, long do you see me just breaking his notice. brain where he's like, no, 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 I, I get it, but... There's no, way no, 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 I, I do get space. it. It's, it's a very long, long process to become an astronaut. I've looked into it multiple times. And you think it won't be a long process to join the Space Force? You think they'll be just like, oh, no, you're in, you're good. But yeah, of course. There, shoot this laser <laughs> rifle. Okay, sounds good. You don't... You don't need to be, like, like an athlete for no reason. You need to be able to handle the G-force and everything entering and entering the atmosphere. Yeah, and know how to shoot a laser rifle. I think I can do that. Yeah, don't worry about the post-traumatic stress after the fact, though. If yeah, we're in exactly. America, we don't care fun. about that. No, not at all. Oh, God. I'm saving if, the globe from alien invasions, John. If I'm Jason joins the Space Force, hero. we're all screwed. Thank you. Oh. I'll be Captain Zeph Brannigan. From Futurama. Oh my god, we're so screwed. <laughs> I think the only hope I have restored to this country is if they deny your application. Like, no. I'm like, oh, thank god. No, they won't do that. Some, some hope in this country. They're going to see, like, you know what? He, fuck it, he's our sergeant. He's our leader. He's our commander. Master Chief. Imagine if Jason's ready to go. 
Give me the, the aliens fucking are going to invade so world. easily. <laughs> nah, that's what Justin, you do you have anything to add? Do you want to join Space Force? No. No? I'm well, cool that's all the news on. I got. Do you guys have any other topics? <laughs> any emails in, maybe? That's all you had? Anything? That's all I had. You said you had a bunch wow. of stuff. Really? Yeah. That, well, you made it seem like we'd go yeah. on for days. We went on for a little bit. Well, did you do you uh, see the new uh, news network that's showing up? That's popping up in popularity. OAN. No, what's that? Oh, OAN. The, the right. OAN thing. is if you took Fox News, and they're now liberals. Like that's what OAN is. It's farther to the right than Fox News. Wait. What's it stand for? Yeah. Fox News if they're liberals. Like. Like it's like like OAN makes Fox News look like they're liberals. Like that's what uh, it is. Okay. So, you know so on their when side. like. So as Trump's been doing like his briefings, he had like one reporter from OAN, and what she was like, uh, "OAN, it's something America Network." Only Look American it up. Network. Um, Omnipotent American she, Network. She kind of like she's been defending Trump, and Trump's been kind of attacking Fox News because they've been criticizing him lately, like on his handling of the coronavirus and stuff like that. And he's been like, oh, Fox News is failing. OAN is the next big thing. And it's just – it's it's bad reporting. It's just this news network, I guess. A news network. Like one John of the Air main quoted. anchors. So it's... One of the main anchors was like out on – um, he's like walking. He's like, I'm still going to get a haircut. Who cares about social distancing? And it's like, all right, thanks for spreading that information. So oh, People are stupid. Um, yeah, it's, yep. it's one – america news network also known as one american news it's a conservative far-right news and opinion channel owned by herring networks launched in 2013. Uh, a lot of opinions on that news network most news is opinionated i mean i guess so we're sharing our opinions here facts don't exist exist anymore that's true yeah i guess so uh do you guys hear that? Yeah, all our listeners can hear your phone ringing. Yeah, John. Somebody should probably check it up. Come on, John. Yeah, put him on the put him on the line. We got a call in listener. <laughs> oh, it just happened to stop. Oh, oh. Crazy. Wait, what's up? So Who would have known? I know, right? I feel like this Fearless was a leader. conspiracy. We're getting too close to the truth, and now the government's trying to distract us. <laughs> too with close, too serious. Damn right. It was OAN calling us, saying we don't like that you're smearing our network. They're on to us. Hot take: We're better than OAN. Or it was a space force said, yeah, "Say, they're... John, you can't join us." Jason, why would they John. call me and not you? No, they called you to say, "Fuck you! You're not allowed to join." Why you would they call to... me? I wasn't asking. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So you're not allowed. Prove their point. They really oh, want to get it in the ground. I get it. They were like, hey, sway Jason off the Space Force. We really, really don't want him. <laughs> we I don't need that kind of crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you guys want to end it here? Do you guys want to make that the podcast of the week? Do you guys have any news? Anything else you want to talk about? Oh, did you see that um, Yankee guy died? Steinbrenner? Yeah. Yeah, that was sad. The, the like, owner? Yeah. I think it was a – I don't know which Steinbrenner it was. I don't. I didn't. I no, just. It was, saw uh, it was an uncle. Oh. I think. I don't know. But I um, just saw Steinbrenner. And that would, I don't know. Well, I just figured you know, out. Also, uh, this pandemic thing's a real problem. I don't. I don't think it was because of Corona though. I think he just passed away from old age. Oh, then never mind. Corona's not a problem. Huh. We're I all set. It, well, it's it after Easter, right? So we're all yeah, good. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The the quarantine's over. Okay. Thank God. I was starting to get a little nervous. Yeah. But no, but... I'm starting to get... But the thing is, this is how you know corona is actually a serious thing, John. You want to know why? Why is that? Because it affects rich people. There you go. That's, That's why they're taking it so seriously? Well, no, no, no not it even was... that. Like, you can take any conspiracy theory that can be debunked easily if you can answer the question, does it affect the rich and powerful? Because if it does, was... then it's probably fake. Because then there's no spirit. There was a con- oh, um, I heard 
like one of these people with one of these like people who hate the conspiracy theory like they're um they were like they're upset at the Connecticut governor because the Connecticut governor recently extended um the the date to May 20th for social distancing and quarantining mm -hmm. before we start opening up restaurants and bars and mm -hmm. things like that and everyone was upset because they said the FDA said guidelines should have ended in April. Governor Lamont's an idiot. And I'm like, what does the FDA have to do with Corona? Yeah, also, like, said, has nothing to do with well, it. Oh, to also, go like, before we continue. New York on. and all them are kind of in like California are running on their own rules because the federal government's not really doing anything. Yeah. No, not at all. Before we get on this, uh, Steinbrenner was Hank Steinbrenner, and it was one of the sons. Okay. What he died so, of? But it's not the owner It didn't now, say what right? he died of. No, he is. It's So when his father, George, um, passed right. away and like kind of stepped down earlier, he left it to Hank and his other son, Hal, and Hal had the bigger part in it, but they were mm -hmm. still like owners of the team. So I don't oh, know okay. what's happening now that he passed away, but but yeah, did you all, going back to, I'd like to jump around. Well, rest in peace to like Hank Steinbrenner. We're sorry. Thoughts yeah. and prayers are with your family. Um, to go back to the corona, did you see that Connecticut, New York, Jersey, and I think Pennsylvania, maybe somewhere another one is do, like forming like a task force or they're like communicating on like, I guess I some type of thing to fight the corona or like. Um, are you joining that one too? No, fuck that one. Because that they don't go to space? Yeah, damn right. But like, to, What if they go to space Italians to fight corona? Time just yelling at each other. <sighs> I might I might have to do it then, John. But no, like they're doing something to to kind of like reopen and like say when to reopen, like those like six states or whatever I named. Yeah, they're actually organizing and trying to get a yes, an, an actual plan I out would, there instead of just being like we're open. Yeah, I would rather they so hold this too lines. late than too early because as soon as they open up, everyone's well, yeah, says going the to restaurants over and... here who wants the economy to crash. Yeah, no, right, jeez. No, the economy will be fine. We'll bounce back. That's capitalism for you. Did you guys get your uh, stimulus checks? Damn Not right. Yet, no. What I got mine. Got it to spend it on groceries. No, I wouldn't do that. It'd either be uh, alcohol, something stupid, or yeah, those are probably my only two options: alcohol or something stupid. I mean, that's that is how they kind of want you to use it. They want you to spend your money on it, so that way, because that's how the economy works. It yeah. spending money. Hmm. Justin, awesome. what are you going to spend your? Oh, Check I put on. the entire thing into a Roth IRA. Uh, that's stupid. Don't do that. Well, way to way to ruin the actual economy. Stocks are down. You I'll idiot. Put it in a in my retirement fund. <laughs> you yeah, that's idiot. Stupid. That's yeah, gonna be like, like want... thirty years. That's gonna be worth like thirty grand. Do like they want you to it. buy shoes no, no, it's or already something? All in. Did you it's already, already put it all in? Yeah. That's so fucking low. Oh no. Our well, interest rate should have got right my taxes, so I just have a load of money. I'm you falling. should have just you should have split it threw half of it in and threw the other half into like a CD or something like that. The CDs that's aren't worth anymore. That well, it's more accessible uh, as opposed to not being able to touch the Roth for seventy five years. No, the Roth CD, is you can do it for a year or two. I pay the tax. I think the way I think it's set up is I'm probably wrong, but okay, let me see. You pay the taxes now, so later on when you take it out, you don't have to pay the taxes. Yeah. Yeah. Here, so here's where our uh, listeners get stupider because we don't know our facts. I'm pretty sure. No, no, no I, no, I know what this is. With like a little penalty if I needed it. Not for. I know my 401k. I definitely can't. No, you can't. It's not. Ah, uh, fuck. What is it? Is it 10 years? 20 years? It's not like you you can't turn around next month and be like, oh shit, let me take some of that out. Like you oh, cannot yeah, no, no, touch no, no, it no. for. I think it's 10 years. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't remember how long it is. Or it's you can't take out the interest or the uh, gains of it. It's something along that line. Fuck, I don't remember the set period of time where you can't touch it. Okay, but well we could talk about chunk, this off the podcast. It's a no, chunk no, of time where you people cannot to touch know. it at all. No, this is where nobody's learning anything. John, what are you just going back and forth? Check on. No, it's, uh, it's I a told you I'm going to stimulate the economy, buy new shoes. Maybe I'll buy a business. Maybe I'll buy a house. <laughs> There you go. You ain't buying a house. <laughs> you don't know? No, nah, the housing market's kind of shitty right now, so it's not a bad time to buy. Mm, yeah, see, Dustin, give, give I know. A, give it a few more months. 
It's gonna get low. No, I'm not gonna buy it now. Come on, don't be insane. Yeah, he didn't get his check yet. Jeez. I didn't get my check yet. I can't buy it now. Wait, you don't have direct deposit? No, I guess not. Well, did I, might, you check I think today? I sent it in last year through the mail. So. Oh, that's weird. What? Yeah. I, I don't know. No. Okay. Good one. Just buy crap. I. Oh yeah. No, that, that doesn't definitely... stimulate the economy. Yeah, it will. stimulates something. Stimulate somebody's pocket. I guess so. All right. Well, guys, thanks for listening this week on Hot Takes and Beer Breaks. Do you guys have any other final comments you want to say? Okay. Well, well that's Justin and Jason, as well, always, with gripping conversation off. and great quips. You didn't say anything. I was about you gave to, us but no, no time. Nope. What do you got? Some of the B, John? You guys got to quick, quick. Let's go. Let's I, I, go. I can't, I can't work like this. I can't work like this. I want our listeners, you know, to be I want to raise entertained constantly. Well, I'm we sorry, just what? I we just educated them financially. Yeah. No one was educated financially. Yeah, they were. No, but they're curious. Email in at hot takes and beer breaks at gmail dot com if you were educated financially. Yeah, right. I'm yeah. sorry, Justin. What'd you say? They're gonna be like, "How do I get a retirement account now?" Yeah. Yeah. Now they're curious. Sorry, do, I rock, do I want to rob? Do I want a four hundred one k? Yeah, but they didn't stimulating an economy. We do I want to go to the casino and put it all on black? You Who know knows? What? Tear it down, burn it all. We're going to restart it. Mic drop. All right, guys. See you here next week. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, all at Hot Takes and Beer Breaks. Um, follow us and listen to us wherever you get your podcasts at Hot Takes and Beer Breaks. And email in at Hot Takes and Beer Breaks at gmail.com. If you were stimulated by our conversation about retirement, you can email in and tell us if you learned anything. If not, please email in and tell me I'm right, too. Don't. No, don't do that. He's never right. All right. Thanks, guys. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye.